everyone and welcome. It's that time of year where the time's changing. It's going to be dark by the time you get home from work. And we've been having some strange weather. Uh, like I said, we just got through with Hurricane Sally like two weeks ago. And now we're getting ready for Hurricane Delta in like a day or two. And in between these two hurricanes, my truck broke down. And I've been you know trying to get it fixed and finally got it running and things like that. So I haven't really had time to do any like major projects, especially outdoors. So I've been focusing like on indoor projects, particularly stuff I can do with my guns. Like uh, I made a holster, you know, just a couple of weeks ago. And today I'm gonna make a cartridge carrier slash cheek rest for my SKS. The parameters of this cartridge carrier are gonna be that it has a one inch tall padded cheek rest. It'll be of lace up design and the pouch itself will carry at least two stripper clips for the SKS. So let's go in the shop and get started. To make my pattern for my cartridge carry, the first thing I'm gonna do is take a sheet of paper and fold it in half to give me my center line. Next, I took the bolt out of my rifle and laid it face down, centered up on this center line. I'm now gonna take my stock and trace around it to get the width or spine of my shell holder and how long I want it. Now I'm just gonna roll my rifle over to give me the side profile. Now I'm just gonna trace my profile onto the other side. Now I'm gonna take and cut out this rough pattern and see how it fits around the gun. So here's my first layout of the pattern and it came out a little bit short. Uh, I'd really like for it to come out about right here. So when I go to lay this on my material, I'm gonna to have to add like a quarter of an inch to it. So here's the main body of my shell holder. To make my cheek rest, I got another scrap piece of paper and folded it both vertically and horizontally. Now I'm just going to take my template and lay it on the horizontal center line and figure out where I want my cheek rest to go. And I want this to be an inch and a half wide and about an inch tall. So there's my width. Now I need to do my height. So there's one inch. Now I'm going to do an inch on the other side. Now I'm going to come off the ends one inch. Now I need to add another half inch all the way around for my hem. Now I'm gonna take and extend the seams that are running lengthwise a half an inch so that when I stitch all this together, they'll actually butt up with this seam over here. So here is kind of how my cheek rest is gonna to fit together like that. And as you can see, I cut these back from a half inch to a quarter of an inch so that everything would line up right when I stitched it together. So with my template made for my cheek rest, all I gotta do is cut out the material. Because I plan on using this on the SKS, I'm going to base the actual storage pouch off of being able to carry two 10 round stripper clips for the SKS. I think I'm just going to go with a simple wrap around design like this and just stitch the sides together and attach it using Velcro. So now that I've got all my pieces and parts, I'm just going to stitch everything together. I stitched up the forward part of this main body and the back, as you can see, is actually the factory edge, so I'm not going to stitch that up. With that done, I'm going to add grommets down both edges, and that's how I'm going to attach this to the gun, is I'm going to lace it up with paracord. And I'm going to space them about an inch apart. With my holes punched, it's now time to add my grommets. And the grommets that I'm going to use are a quarter of an inch. Now that I have my grommets in, I can go ahead and sew up the cheek rest and mount it to the main body. So here is my cheek rest now that I've got it stitched together and I've inserted the foam. So here's my first rough fit and I believe this is going to work really well. Now all I got to do is make my ammo pouch for this side. Here's my finished ammo storage pouch, put the Velcro on the back, and I left the ends open in case I wanted to take this off the gun itself and put it on my belt. And it holds three 10 round stripper clips. And it'll fit to the carrier itself, something along this line. To attach it to the stock, like I said, I'm gonna lace it up. And to do that, I'm just gonna use some paracord.
Now that I have my ammo pouch attached, this is what it looks like. I'm going to take it outside and see how it functions. The ammo pouch and the cheek rest for the SKS turned out really well. Now when I was testing the pouch out, loading the gun, cycling the gun, injecting the bullets, this, that, and the other, I wasn't actually using live ammo. I was actually using these little dummy rounds that I had made up for the 762 by 39 Now the area that I live in can be like the Wild West sometimes on the weekends during the summertime, but I don't think the neighbors would appreciate me accidentally slam firing a rifle round. So. When you're doing something like that, handling the gun or cycling it through, make sure that you're you know, using a dummy round or snap cap or something like that. So anyway, there's the cheek rest and ammo pouch mounted to the stock of a SKS. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time.